I don't want to hear they're good for pop musicians or they're good for um, their age or they're good because they're like female musicians. Get that rubbish out of here. They are great musicians. Welcome back and thank you for joining me for another reaction video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications too, then you won't miss any of these as soon as they go live on the platform. Now, we're back with Bandmade and I'm really excited because all your calls for me to look at something live have finally helped. Today we are looking at Domination. It has a date of the 14th of Feb, so Valentine's Day this year. It's about as recent as we're going to get under the circumstance. And uh, really excited to see how their recording and studio work translates into the live stuff. So, Bandmade, Domination, let's see what you got. That's a cool stage. In Shibuya. I was there. Out at the venue in Shibuya. Yeah? Oh, that crowd's into it, man. Apologies for the early pause. I know some people get frustrated by that, but it is important for me as part of a reaction video to give feedback on things I think are notable or exciting so um intros are, are a weird one a lot of bands kind of just pick a good rhythm and they let it just be and they don't put a lot of effort into it but something nice is happening here. Yeah, you've got the bassist doing that no 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 kind of run and she keeps going back to a lower note which is essentially an anchor note so that helps give it a pattern that's repeatable right and then you've got the lead guitarist who's um got like a really fast picking piece where she keeps kind of going up and down the neck but she ends on going really high which creates that suspense and build up and i think um it's just nice to see people putting effort into something that otherwise would just be left alone because the melody it hasn't started yet and it's not deemed as important. Now, I don't know if this actual rhythm they're playing is going to form part of the chorus or anything yet, but as an intro, it's very cool. She got a five or six string bass. Six. something very cool there obviously an amazing catchy chorus it's i expect nothing less of them they're just able to churn out these like a hit machine so um they're, they're incredible with that and i love that but uh something nice to see is we know that the bassist has got an incredible amount of talent and kind of picks her moments to show off uh, nice to see her in the chorus they're just hitting a steady rhythm just allowing the vocals to shine through and then something cool with the lead work is you've got the lead guitarist kind of doing like a sliding pattern um underneath that vocal melody and it's actually quite independent it, it doesn't sound like it needs to be a part of it um but it's nice that it's added because it helps you create like in your ears just a different reference for two different melodies going on and they fit really nicely together. Um, I'm not going to go back because I know they're going to be playing more of those choruses, but keep an eye out for it or an ear out for it. It's very, very cool. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, now that is awesome, and a lot of us had quite a cool conversation in the comment thread of my previous reaction, which was to choose me. You can find that link in the description below. Um, I made a comment about how they, they don't seem to just kind of copy paste their verses, and a lot of people were echoing, no, that's actually something they're quite adamant on. They don't want to play the same thing. They want to tweak it and adjust it and make it fresh and new, and they've just done that there again. I mean, that's essentially your second yeah, second verse. And what they did was they kind of broke back that down to what it sounded essentially like just the the bass and the drummer. There was a little bit of rhythm kind of clean palm muting on that. Um, 
And then they, they had that lead guitar just accenting dun, dun, and then double time in that. And that's just something fresh that you didn't see or I didn't hear in the first verse. And it kind of echoes the sentiment that you guys were saying. So I want to go back to hear that again, but very, very cool. Hear the lead now. There you go. Okay, if you've ever played in a band and you see all the musicians gather around the drummer, there's a couple of reasons that can happen. One, sometimes there's a song where there's a planned piece that you kind of want to feel on the fly and you want to see how it's going. Maybe you want to extend a certain piece. Maybe you want to let something ring out. Sometimes it's crowd participation. Um, and sometimes there's a problem. So um, someone's missed a beat. I'm not saying that happened here at all. Or, or maybe a string snapped and you can't play a certain thing that you, you know, is an iconic piece of the song. Uh, it looked like it was part of the performance and they were just gathering around for a bit of fun but then they were leaning in quite intently having a conversation so i wonder what that was about but i'm not saying there was an error there i'm just saying those are some of the reasons that you see that happen and it's actually a real sign of maturity for bands to be able to fix a song or enhance a song midway through it's it's a real 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 um compliment to them They're definitely speaking about something. Oh, it's just so much fun. Hello. Okay. Hit this with that breakdown. Pick in your moments. Slapping solos. This is a beautiful showcase piece. There we go. You know what they are good i don't want to hear they're good for pop musicians or they good for um their age or they're good because they're like female musicians get that rubbish out of here they are great musicians they are fantastic and for them to be so young seemingly so young and have so much of their career ahead of them i um, mean they just they're just hitting it out the park on this one for them to pull off those like showcase pieces live now i don't know if all those solos and little um fun pieces that you see live are on the recording it would be cool if they were but um it's understandable that sometimes certain things are just live elements so it'd be interesting to let me know if if you do know let me know in the comments um so cool so cool they just they are they know exactly when to pick moments and when to entertain and that's it this becomes a show it takes it beyond a song because some people just play songs live they turn this into a show really awesome Nice lead work again. Say. 
something else that's important to note is when you um go think about when you go to a live show versus when you go when you listen to a recording there are certain things that are very different about those so one is the volume of some of the instruments when it comes to drums the cymbals and stuff there's only so much they can do to muffle those so that ends up drowning out some of the higher end of other parts of other instruments so rhythm guitar sometimes on lead and that's why you'll hear things punch through when they need to um, and bass particularly bass that has to be more potent or powerful if it's going to be driving to the back of a venue um, because of the length of um, uh, bass notes that uh, deeper deeper notes have a longer kind of frequency band so they need to be more powerful to push them to the back and um, I quite like that sometimes with bands that creates problems with them because of how great they are as musicians keep it coming just keep it coming Haven't given the singers enough credit, both backing and main. Such presence, such perfect placements. As that classic rock and roll ending. That is just awesome. Um, I'm so glad and so grateful that you guys asked me to have a look at that one because my word was that good. That you weren't joking when you said they're better live. They sure are better live. Um, I didn't know if that was possible or if that was just hype. You know, when people really get into bands, I think they're so great. Um, I oh, got to hear more. I got to hear more. I know there were quite a few other recommendations for songs. I think like Puzzle. Um, I think there was one called Moratorium. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not sure. I'm going to get into all of them. I promise you that. So stay in, stick it, <laughs> hang in there. God, I was so excited by that. I lost my words. Um, hang in there and um, we'll get through a lot more bandmate. I promise you that much more to come. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate you spending time with me. Until the next one, be safe. Be nice to each other. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.